Casey Matthews, are we in an asset bubble? Are we running on borrowed time and Fed dollars? Well, first I should define what I think of asset bubble is. It's nothing more than an asset or asset class that becomes uh, overvalued. And in general, I don't believe we're in a bubble at this time. However, I do believe you see the development of bubbles. Given the backdrop of a of massive uh, monetary policy, policy stimulus, low interest rates, it, it's the recipe for the development of a bubble. Well, where are things being inflated the most? Well, when you can look at the bond market, of course, we've been in a 30-year bull market when it comes to bonds. So I do think that interest rates eventually will be on the rise, and you could post negative returns in the, the fixed income investment area. The other area inside stocks, I would say, which is dangerous, is some of the defensive stocks have become expensive. Look at utilities. Utilities trade at 18 times earnings today. Historically, they trade at 14 times. And that's because investors were really forced to seek out yield, moving from traditional fixed income investments into the stock market and into sectors like utilities. All right, so what should the Fed be doing in your view? We're hearing a lot of it uh, on the campaign trail, what the candidates think the Fed should be doing, more on the Republican side, that said. But what do you think the Fed should be doing? Well, that, that's a tough call. They have a tough job. Um, but I do think when you look at economic growth, since the Great Recession, we've seen approximately 2% real GDP growth, and we've been at a zero or near zero interest rate policy. I do think that eventually the Fed has this window that's opening that allows them to gradually increase rates and normalize rates. They're not trying to slow down the economy or tap the brakes, but rather just normalize rates. So I think eventually interest rates will be on the rise. So you think that the Fed can actually let the air out slowly so it won't cause something major with the economy. So what should investors be doing while this is going on? Well, one is to be cautious. Like I said, you have to be very cautious in the bond market because certain areas of that market could be very dangerous um, and, and, and pose a, quite a bit of risk. And then inside the stock market, you're seeing bubbles develop. And if we see earnings catch up in the second half, that bubble could somewhat dissipate. So I think it's steady as she goes. Invest in good quality stocks with strong balance sheets and you kind of weather the storm. And beat the bubble. Thanks, Steph, for coming on KC. Thank you. And thank you for watching the street.